What's up guys, Shinzo here. As most of you already know, I spent quite a bit of time on the road over the past couple of years. But this adventure is a little bit different. I'm heading to Arizona for the winter and I just so happen to know someone who would also love to spend some time in the desert. So tag along with me and my tortoise Leo as we embark on our first road trip together. We'll take on 1,000 miles of open road, we'll endure our first sketchy overnighter, and we'll just take some time to hang out and bond. So thanks for joining me on this one. Let's hit the road. So we left San Antonio just before sunrise, as we knew we had at least eight hours of driving for day one, and I'd factored in at least a handful of fuel stops. Speaking of stops, let's grab some breakfast, and I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Grabbed a quick bite to eat, and I wanted to introduce you guys to my uh, a little road buddy here. Say good morning, Leo. About to get back on the road. We're in Junction, Texas. We've got about another five and a half hours or so to make it to El Paso, which is where we'll be spending the night. And then tomorrow we'll make our way through New Mexico and into Arizona. Hopefully everything goes smooth. We'll be at our campsite by tomorrow evening. A quick pit stop here my boy here is getting kind of antsy gonna get out there get us some sunlight gonna fuel up real quick then uh, get back on the road right, let's grab some snacks and we'll do this what are you thinking go and get it. garbage try to take him for a quick lunch break but leo says he eats when he's ready to eat so i think he's ready to get back on the road let's do a big guy let's get back on the road buddy how's that bud eh, helped a little bit and that's what you call cutting it a little bit too close it's been desert out here for over 100 miles and i'm just happy to see a gas station what do you think So we hit El Paso and decided to keep on driving. I made it to Las Cruces. As you can see in the background here, I'm parked up at a Walmart. I didn't know exactly where I was gonna spend the night tonight. I've actually never done a multi-day trip with the travel trailer before. So it's kind of a learning experience. There are a few RVs scattered throughout the parking lot. So I think we're okay to call this home for at least one night. I'm gonna give this guy some sunshine, a little bit of water, maybe a bite to eat, and uh, go in and give myself a bite to eat as well. So as far as Walmarts go, this one seems nice and clean and uh, pretty well maintained. So far I have an okay feeling about this. Let's see how the night goes. So Walmart turned out to be a bus. There was no restaurant inside. Usually there's like a McDonald's or a Subway or something like that. Well, this place looks lovely. I believe it's Mexican food. Let's give it a shot. Hanging out with my buddy Leo the tortoise, and tonight we'll be spending the night in a Walmart Supercenter parking lot. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of winging it, but uh, let's see how it goes. Not much going on out there. Pretty chill from what I can tell. Oh, we are much closer to a train track than I thought. It is two in the morning. Open my window to have a look out, and I decided to park right by me. It's a little bit weird. 
and he must have heard me because he started up his loud truck. And I was getting out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good morning, guys. 2.45 in the morning, awakened once again. This time was by a drunk girl outside yelling. It um, wasn't like a I'm in danger kind of yelling, just like a hey, everybody, look at me, I'm drunk kind of yelling. So with that being said, I think it might be time to go ahead and get out of bed and uh, get on the road pretty soon. Well, the gas cans are still here, so that's a good sign. By the way, my voice has a weird thing going on right now. I think it might be allergies or maybe just adjusting to the air out here. All right, so it actually wasn't too bad. For the most part, the night was uneventful, I would say. Um, I did have an ice cream truck pull up right next to me at like 2 in the morning, but once I started filming and opened my window, I think they got the hint because they took off pretty quick. Other than that, heard some drunks at like 2.30 in the morning. Um, around 3 a.m., I was approached by some weird uh, guy um, looking for a pharmacy. I don't know if that was code for something. Other than that, everything was cool. Didn't have too much of an issue. Got about five or six hours of sleep. And I'm ready to get back on the road and make it out to Arizona. So let's do it. I'm in the town of Duncan, Arizona. And once again, I'm cutting it way too close. I made a quick stop here in Duncan, Arizona to gas up. I'm gonna let the little guy stretch his legs a little bit. I think he might need to warm up a bit more before he decides to do some exploring. We got about three hours left of driving until we get to Mesa where our resort is at. But so far it's been a good trip and uh, yeah, I did a little bit of droning. Colors are nice out here, the weather's great. I'm gonna see if uh, Leo appreciates this cool weather, which I don't think he will, but he'll be warming up soon enough. So it's gonna give him a little bit of fresh air real quick. Yep, so as I suspected, it's uh, still a little bit too cool for Leo right now. But um, while we're here, how about these colors, huh? That's pretty nice. All right, back on the road. So we're making really good time. We've got about two hours left on the road. Uh, right now we're stopped for some construction work, but I got the sunroof open. It's warming up in here. Leo seems to be warming up just a little bit. I'm just really excited to get him to the campsite, get his enclosure set up, get some heat on him. And also I'm excited to see him kind of get used to the desert terrain and the native plant life and the climate. I'm thinking he'll really like it out here in Arizona. So I'm gonna get back on the road. Looks like we're moving and uh, I'll see you guys soon. made it to our home for the next three months. This is Mesa Gardens in Mesa, Arizona. And it looks like Leo's already enjoying himself. So I've got most of the fun stuff already over and done with. Leveled, stabilized, got all my hookups done. I'm gonna go ahead and head in and start getting settled in. Where are you going there, big guy? You just exploring? I bet you're happy to be off the road, huh? Yeah, me too. Before I wrap this one up, I want to quickly mention that I'll be filming update videos on Leo's new RV life endeavor and sharing how he's enjoying life in the desert. And if you want more Leo content on a regular basis, feel free to follow me on Instagram where I post our weekly and sometimes daily adventures. All right, so that was a fun road trip, but I am very glad to finally be here at the RV park getting settled in. Got a little bit of work to do, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. That way I can relax and get ready for the next adventure. As always, thanks for watching, stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one.